Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm about to make a protein coffee. It's Friday. I took the day off work. It's Labor Day weekend and we're going to South Florida today. So I took the day off so we could get to South Florida at a decent time. I still need to pack. So it's Friday. I think I'm gonna have my protein coffee today. This is the new protein powder that I've been taking. I've always taken the one up nutrition uh, protein powder for my protein coffee but this is the one i was usually taking and i'm trying to cut out as much dairy as possible i cut out dairy at the beginning of the year and i felt like incredible so i think i'm gonna like slowly get back into that so i switched to this vegan protein powder by one up nutrition it's the caramel toffee macchiato honestly if you want to still do dairy or whatever this one tastes so much better it's the salted caramel one this one is like the whey protein this one tastes incredible literally smooths out within seconds in like milk and it tastes so good in coffee this one has like a slight grainy proteiny taste to it the other one is so much better but it, it does the job it still tastes really good it's very toffee so if you like the toffee flavoring you might like it but it doesn't blend as well doesn't smooth into the milk as well but actually i'm going to try blending it because what i usually do is i usually just use this because i don't want to use a blender every morning because christian is still sleeping when i'm making it so i'm gonna try blending it and seeing how that works but yeah so i'm gonna make my protein coffee i don't usually do this on the weekends but since it's friday i'm gonna do it so i'm gonna like just stick to my routine of that oh wait i need to pour this in here okay i'm gonna try blending it because it might just blend better the other one I can use one of those little hand frother things and it works really good to blend, but this one just has some trouble. Okay, that might have done it. That might be the key. You might have to just like blend it up every time. I always have a coupon code with um, 1UP Nutrition. I actually work with them on like a monthly basis. And if you're interested in getting either one of these proteins, I really like having protein coffee. I feel like it has made like the biggest difference getting that like protein immediately in because I'm not like a huge breakfast person. So having this right after my workouts has really, really helped. I feel like build that like muscle and just like overall like my blood sugar levels just feel better having that protein because i literally can't eat breakfast like right away and um it's like super important to have food or some type of protein after you work out i feel like this has just been such a go-to for me such a game changer just incorporating protein coffee in Yep. Wow, it tastes so much better blended. I haven't blended it yet. I just started taking it this past week. And it looks like I might have to pop out the blender every morning because it really makes a difference just blending it besides using that little hand frother. But the hand frother works on the, the whey protein really well. I use it um, for that. Okay, I just got out of the shower and did my skincare. I'm gonna end with these. I keep them in the fridge. They're the Pixie fortify eye patches i'm gonna put these on i love to keep these in the fridge so they're extra cold and kind of like depuffing. so i'm gonna put these on let them sit for a little bit then do my makeup and then start packing okay it's a lot later i am packing up 
all of my stuff currently right now. We're about to leave. It's around 12.30. So we'll probably leave in the next hour or so. I'm just wearing like an oversized t-shirt and then I have like a set active workout set underneath it because tonight um let me just give some background so we have friends that live in south florida and christian is actually from south florida so tonight i'm going to be hanging out with the girls that live there sam is one of them who i just went on the austin trip with who i went on the california trip with who is engaged to one of christian's best friends sean and they all have like known each other through college and stuff so i'm hanging out with her and then i'm hanging out with jenna and jenna is dating another one of <laughs> christian's friends and we all went on the california trip together last year so they all live down there but tonight we're taking a like a high intensity yoga class i'm pretty sure it's at yoga joint and sam has a membership there and there's actually a studio in the hotel that we're staying at this weekend the dalmar and it's in like the lobby of the hotel so i'm really excited so i'm wearing like a workout set so i can immediately go to the class once we get there i think the class is at 5 45 and then we're gonna get ready and then we're gonna have like a girls night jenna sam and i um we're gonna go out and have dinner and then get drinks and stuff like that we're gonna have a whole night and then tomorrow maya and taylor are coming down to stay the rest of the weekend at the same hotel they got a room at the del mar as well so it's gonna be such a fun labor day weekend taylor maya and i have not had like a weekend away like as a girls trip for a really long time so it's gonna be a lot of fun we're gonna have so much fun We just arrived to the Del Mar Hotel and I'm gonna do a quick room tour. We did stay here back in March for a friend's birthday, but we're back again. I'm gonna do a room tour. So you walk in through the store. Some closets right here, flip flops. And there's this big closet. I honestly might hang up some stuff because it's just crammed in my suitcase right now and I hung up stuff when we went to the Bahamas and I put it in drawers and it was the best decision I made. There's the bathroom over here. The toilet's in here. I think it's like a door like this, yeah. Sink area, mirror, shower, right there. And you walk out here, espresso machine, love, little area, desk, TV, wall chairs, this is the bed. I mean, it's a simple room, but then we have the view of the ocean, a little balcony. So I'm so excited to be here. Can't wait to sip coffee out on the balcony. But yeah, this is our room. Um, Christian went to go to um, like a fantasy football thing. That's part of the reason why we're down here. Let me figure out a place to set up my camera. But we're here because Christian has fantasy football and he has friends in South Florida and friends in Orlando and they all collectively just meet in South Florida every year. So he was originally gonna come down and I was gonna stay back, but it was on Labor Day weekend. So we decided to make a whole weekend out of it, which I'm so glad we did. So he's there right now with everyone doing fantasy football. And we actually got here a little bit too late where I missed the class that I was gonna do, like the high intensity class with Sam and Jenna. So they're in it right now. And then they're gonna come back. They have their stuff up here and um then we'll all get ready and go out for drinks and dinner and i'm really excited so that's the update we made it here i'm so excited to be here and vlog and be with like some really great friends
it's a lot later. Sorry that I haven't really vlogged at all today. I mixed my alcohols last night and I was really hungover today. I've been pushing through. We went to the pool at the hotel all day today and then we came back, just showered, got ready and we're going to dinner. We're gonna go get some sushi and then we're gonna go out and Taylor and Maya and Maya's sister are here. They're not coming with us to dinner. They're gonna meet us out after, but everyone's here. We're gonna have a great time. I feel a lot better, not as hungover. Yeah, I'll probably go a little bit lighter today. So I'm not like exhausted and hungover again tomorrow. Um, this is what I'm wearing for dinner. I've worn this dress a few times. I've actually gotten so much wear out of it and it was so cheap. I think it's from Pretty Little Thing or something. They probably don't sell it anymore, but just wearing this little dress. Um, I was debating on wearing heels, but I think I'm just gonna wear sandals so that way I can just walk around and not have my feet hurt or anything like that. And then just jewelry that I always wear, and then I'll bring like a bag. But just wanted to update you because I haven't talked to you all day. And um, yeah, now it's the end of the day. So I'll bring my camera and try and get some clips while we're out tonight of dinner and stuff like that. Another day that I didn't vlog but honestly stuff's been going on and I'll explain at the end of this vlog when I get home tomorrow what happened and what's going on but on my way here just I got news of something and it's just been a lot for me to process and handle so I've just kind of been a little bit down and yeah anyways I wanted to share these sunglasses. So they're from Hip Optical and they have so many cute sunglasses on their site. I picked out these and I think they're so fun. I love the tortoise color. I don't have any sunglasses like them. They're really good quality. They have so many different shapes, um, tortoise shell colors on their site and um, something honestly for everyone. So they were so kind to give me a $15 off coupon code for you guys. So I will link it down below along with all the details and I'll also link this exact pair if you're interested. And one cool thing about it too is that you can add your prescription to these sunglasses as well. Um, also, when we were out to dinner on Friday night, I walked by the Hip Optical store. They have a store in South Florida and I would have gone in, but it was closed. We went, um, late at night it was after dinner but we walked right by the store and i thought it was so cool yeah just wanted to share before we head out um we're going to a rooftop bar and then dinner and then we're going to american social to watch um, a football game
just packed up all of our stuff. It's the next day. And we're about to head out. Sad to be leaving and sad to be going back home, but it was so fun here. Um, so I'm just gonna head down. We're heading down to the lobby right now and then we're gonna head home. I'm gonna try and talk Christian into going through Starbucks so I can get a pumpkin cream cold brew because I haven't had one yet. Okay, we just came to Starbucks so I could get a pumpkin cream cold brew. We're about to grab lunch in this little plaza. But this is a way to order a dairy-free pumpkin cream cold brew. Just order grande pumpkin cream cold brew with almond milk foam. And it's not as like frothy or creamy as the cold foam, obviously, but it's just as good and it's dairy-free. So this is a way to enjoy the pumpkin cream cold brew dairy-free. Okay, so we just got home. I'm gonna basically explain what happened because it like threw off me for the whole entire weekend and it's like throwing me off still right now. But what had happened is while we were on our drive down to South Florida, I got an email that I was at the end of my employment with my job. So it kind of threw off the vibe for the whole entire weekend. And I just feel like maybe I have been feeling for a while and I was very open and honest with them that I was being, I felt pulled in another direction. And I just respectfully at the end of the day didn't feel like it was a good fit for me job wise and i feel like this year has been so testing for me and um what i want to do and who i am and i feel like the past few weeks i've really like lost myself and haven't really felt like myself or motivated or anything and i sat down with them and said look like I feel pulled in another direction and I guess one thing led to another they just decided to end my employment because of it so I currently am it's so weird for like the first time in my adult life unemployed I don't have another job lined up I <laughs> I, I literally, I haven't, like I haven't done. I laid in bed all day yesterday, literally crying, trying to just like process what I'm gonna do and like who I am. And um, I just feel like I went and was open and honest about like the way that I was feeling and I was already feeling down and I just feel like life like just knocked me down even harder. This doesn't need to be like a whole thing, but I just wanted to be like honest because I literally couldn't keep this to myself. Um, because obviously I would be going back to work tomorrow and I'm not and I don't know what I'm gonna do. I just, I feel really stuck. But I remember on New Year's day I said, this year is about to be like the year of such change and growth. Like I can feel it. And so far, it has been the most insane year of change and growth. Um, personally, professionally, I left a job that I wanted to continue moving up in, um, that I did move up in for three years. Um, I left my comfort zone. I tried something new, didn't work out. Now I'm here, um, unemployed, not knowing my next step. And it's just a little bit um, overwhelming because I have like never known what I wanted to do in my life and um, I feel like I go back and forth on certain things that I like want to do or that um, I'm being pulled towards and I'm like wait do I really want that and I question myself and I feel like I really need to take this time to really sit with myself and be like what do you want like what are you looking for and honestly I just want something that I wake up super excited to go and do and um, I love and like the people are great and I just I feel I want to feel fulfilled and I just haven't felt like super fulfilled in my professional life 
and I feel like other areas of my life I like have together and I'm like I like work out I eat healthy like I'm just like very fulfilled in other areas and it's like the professional aspect of my life I'm like not fulfilled and I really need to figure that out so I'm really hoping that this little break will give me the clarity that I've been searching for and the break and the rest that I've been searching for. I just feel like I was so open and vulnerable and I just feel like it was a mistake for me to speak what's on my mind and share what was on my mind and that's really hurtful and heartbreaking. So things like this that happened to me, I really need to like not let it change me as a person in a negative way because it almost makes me like want to shut down and i feel like i pride myself so much on being so open and honest with people and willing to share that i just don't want certain things that like happen to me to change how i am because i really pride myself on how like kind compassionate um honest sincere that i am so it's just crazy how everything works out but um i've really like sat with myself and just collected myself and like everything happens for a reason and um i will go into my next job and i just have a feeling that this is gonna be like my next job is going to be like it and i'm really gonna find something that i love and that i'm passionate about and that's fun and that i go to work every day and i love it and I don't get Sunday scaries or like anxiety towards going. So that's like something that I'm looking for because I don't know. And I mean, props to me for leaving my comfort zone to find something all for it to like not work out. And I would have never known if I didn't do this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, I'll pick up the camera. I'll fill you guys in as like the process unfolds i'll obviously fill you guys in on interviews jobs whatever but um yeah i couldn't really keep that a secret i felt like i share so much of my life with you guys and that is something so big to not share and yeah so my mood was just really off this past weekend but i really tried to up my spirits live in the moment and not like sit in my head but i just had a few breakdowns and um try to like understand stuff. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed and I will talk to you guys in a few days. Um, good things are coming. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.